Hello, my name is Thomas Falds. I'm here at Full Compass uh, to show you guys an introduction to uh, Ableton Live uh, session view features. So the first thing to understand about Ableton Live is that it is music creation software that is playable like an instrument, probably the most friendly uh, audio software that's out there and that it works exactly the same on the Macintosh and the PC computers. Uh, works with virtually every audio interface and MIDI controller that is available and you can rewire it into Logic and Pro Tools, Reason, etc. So the first thing to understand about Ableton Live is the two views is the heart of the program. Up in the upper left hand corner here, that's where you access the arrangement view and the session view. What we're looking at here is the arrangement view first, which is exactly like uh, every other conventional digital audio workstation. And that is a linear sequencer that works left to right. You can see the waveform in time. Bars and beats up top, minutes and seconds down below. And the mixer section is over here on the right hand corner side. Um, if I flip over here to the session view, this is the live part of Ableton Live. This is the nonlinear sequencer. So every colored cell that I have here is called a clip and contains a piece of audio or a piece of MIDI. If I double click on the clip, it will bring up the clip detail view here down below. Clips can be any length. It can be a single one shot sample to a full 45 minute mix. Whatever you want to do is up to you. So the way this works is you can launch these clips by hitting any of these play triangles. I'll start with the first kick clip here in the upper left hand corner. The only rule with these clips is that you can only play one clip at a time per track. So if I trigger a different clip in the same track, it's going to cut off the previously playing clip. You'll also notice as I launch clips here, they blink and keep everything exactly in time. This is due to the global quantization that I have up here in the upper center of the screen. You can turn this off if you select none or any of these other musical subdivisions will work as well. I've got it set up here to one bar and uh, it will simply keep everything in time. So we can trigger any clip at any time, in any order, in any combination. What most people like to do is get a bit of organization using these master scenes on the far right hand side. Um, each master scene will trigger the whole row of clips. So for example, here's scene one triggering the whole row up top. And this could be the introduction to your song, it could be the first song in your set, however you like to set this up. Ableton is completely customizable in that way um, using this session view grid. So this is great, um, but now the mouse uh, only allows us to change one thing at a time. So we've got uh, some partnerships. For example, the Novation Launchpad, uh, it's made by Novation. It's got the Ableton logo on here because it's a dedicated session view controller for Ableton Live. This is set up to control the live launching of clips here. So you see the yellow rectangle shows us what's in view with the 8x8 grid on our launch pad. And we can launch these clips here from the controller and really perform using Ableton Live as an instrument. So the other um, revolutionary aspect of Ableton Live is the real-time time stretching. So if you're using pretty much every other conventional digital audio workstation and you wanted to slow this down from 128 beats per minute here to 100 beats per minute, you'd have to actually stop the sequencer, stop the music, type in the new tempo, wait for it to time stretch. We have 12 tracks of audio here. Um, it often takes a bit of time using a different program. Well, Ableton is all real time. So if I'm playing here at 100 beats per minute and I want to speed it up, all I need to do is drag this up or down and all of the audio and MIDI will follow along. You can go all the way up to 999 beats per minute, all the way down to 20 for severe time stretching artifacts and special sound effects. Uh, we can jump here to 80, back to 128, whatever you want to do. Uh, Ableton Live handles everything in real time. So the other aspect to this session view going into the arrangement view here. I'm going to go select all, delete everything that was in the arrangement view and actually record from the session view my live performance into the arrangement view. All I need is to engage the global record up here in the top center section of the screen. And now everything that I do in the session view will get recorded here in real time and perfect quality audio into the arrangement view so that I can do my live performance. This will also record any automation, knob movements, slider movements that you make. And now I can get into the arrangement view and get into all the detailed editing and arranging that I could in the conventional digital audio workstation. So Ableton Live really gets the best of both worlds. Um, to me, it's a Swiss Army knife of an audio application, and I use it for everything. But again, you can rewire it into whatever other uh, digital audio workstation that you're using. All right, thanks for watching. For more information, please visit fullcompass.com or contact your sales representative. Thanks.